Hi everybody, Ron Loomis here, and today we're going to review and look and open the box on a 1-inch transmission raising kit. The 1-inch transmission raising kit is designed to lower your VW. I know it sounds strange, but if you raise the engine and tranny up in the car, it will in effect lower the car. And if you're lowering the car, then the center of gravity gets better, uh, the front end gets more caster, the windshield angle gets laid back. There's a lot of advantages to doing it. It's all amounts to the tranny for performance sake, and it's just an all around good way to go. We sell hundreds of these every year, but people often ask me, how do you do the install? Well, we're gonna cover that later when we go out into the shop. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little segment which we're calling, what's in the box. So right now, now I'm going to open up the box and this way you'll see exactly what you get when you buy a 1-inch transmission raising kit from Ron Loomis Racing. So let's open the box. All right. What's in the box? There we go. Well, the first thing you're going to see is how good our guys pack these boxes. You can see that there's a little instruction notice in there. If you didn't get the right parts, please let us know. Everything is wrapped up for the journey so that when it gets there, you know exactly what you've got. So this is what you get in the box. Handy dandy instructions. Read twice, please. And there we go. All right, now that we've got the box open and all the product out, we're gonna show you what all of these products do and how they're installed. Very first, you have this front mount that is the locator mount for the front of the pan. This mount here is gonna go onto the pan as a locator only. You'll notice there's no holes here. So it will not bolt to the nose cone, but it's just simply in place so that when you slide the tranny in, it has a place to stop and rest so that you know you're putting it in right. That's the first thing. Second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look and you're gonna see this laser cut mid mount that's three eighths of an inch thick. It's actually a very thick part. You can also see that it has on the sides little grooves that are gonna go right in on the frame rails of your floor pan. So on the sides of your frame rails, it's pinched and you can see a little flat area. This is gonna ride in here. So that'll go in like that. Before you can put this in, you need to install the longer studs and we've included the longer studs. I'll show you that in just a few minutes. The longer studs go into the lower four bolts of the transmission and you can double nut the old ones to get them out and install the new ones. The new ones are needed so that we can get the extra thickness for this mount. Once you've installed the studs, then you can loosely put this on. Now I have to mention that when you put this in, when you look from the back of the car, all the RLR logos should be clearly seen. So if you have it this way and you're looking at the back, you've got it in backwards. Only two ways it can go. So that's the only way it can go right there to be right. So you got that right there. Then you have your rear mount. Same thing, logo points towards the back. These four bolt holes will bolt into the transmission. These two bolt into the frame horn and then you're off and running. Now you should put everything together loosely first. Don't tighten anything up. And then when you go to slide everything in, remember the nose cone is going to slide up and it's going to bump against this. This is going to be removed after you're done. There's no need for this in the car. It's just simply a locator. And this mount here, on some of the pans it's a little tighter or a little looser. It just depends on your year of pan. So you may need to clearance a little here or even in where the, the little pinch part is on either side, but you'll know your home when you arrive at that stop and then you can just weld it on either side of the deal. Well, of course you gotta weld it all the way around, but either side first, it doesn't matter. And then once you've got it all the way in there, you can just weld up with a, you know, just a regular old MIG welder, it'd be, it'd be fine. I would not get it too hot though, because when you get it really hot, it tends to wanna to pull the frame rails in. So again, all the logos should be pointing in the right direction. So you're gonna see like, how's that? Let me see if I can get this right. There you go. Like this, how's that? That's even better. A little comedy action. So yeah, once you've got it installed right, you should be able to get your car down that extra inch and the camera on the wheels should straighten right back up. You know, they would be like this, then they'll be like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a trip out in the shop and just actually do like a more hands-on install and I'll go over the length of the studs and some of the other things. But if you have any questions, you can call us or you can email us at info at ronlumisracing.com or 714-630-2091. Peace. Hey everybody, Ron Loomis here and I wanted to show you real quick how we determine which nose cone you need when you're running a 1-inch transmission race kit. This is a regular type 1 nose cone. You can see that the nose cone, the hockey stick, is set up rather high. So this is a regular type 1. This would come on any type 1 transmission. This nose cone is the type 1 early bus nose cone and you can see that the same uh, hockey stick action is actually down 1 inch more. So if you look at the two contrasts towards each other, 
if I put them back to back, you can see the difference between the two. So if you see the difference between the two, then basically this is the bus nose cone. This is what keeps it in the tunnel. And this one is the regular type one. So when you use a one inch transmission raising kit, you need this accompanying item right here, which is the uh, type one bus uh, nose cone. There you go. Hey everybody, how you doing? Ron Loomis out here in the shop like we promised. Uh, we already went through what's in the box. Our one inch transmission raising kit today. And today we're gonna show you what's going on with the installation of that kit how to put that on. So let's get started here and let's see what's going on. So here we have a type one transmission like most of you do. Uh, the first step is going to be after you've unloaded the box, we're going to take and we're going to get these lower studs out. These lower studs right here, we'll show a close up of these later, but basically the easiest way I've already done the, uh, the work of getting them out, but you double nut them and then you take them out of the deal. In the kit with the new studs, uh, this is the difference between the studs as you can see. Uh, there's a pretty good amount of difference. Um, if you can see the difference in the height right there. And that's just to take up the difference of the mid mount, which is going to be our saving piece to keeping your transmission alive. So once we've uh, installed the new studs, you can double nut them and put them in. And the riding is going to go towards the back of the car. So you're going to install that on the tranny. And then you're going to put the nuts on. Now, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to use just regular nuts so I don't have to run it down on the nylon uh, for time's sake. So once you get all those nuts on there, then you're going to basically take the transmission and you're going to turn it over. Now, obviously don't try to do that if it's a complete tranny. Here we have our bulkhead bracket that we're going to show you how to install so that you get your transmission aligned front to rear correctly. This is our rear mount that you're going to bolt into the frame horns, but first things first, let's get it bolted up to the transmission. Oops. Yeah. We'll just edit out stuff. Once we've got all the hardware installed and we've got all the bolts in, just hand tight, then we're going to take the assembled unit and put it into the car. But first, remember this bracket that I told you about, the bulkhead bracket. Now we'll go and show you how we're going to put this in. As you can see from the back of the car, this chassis is prepared very well and this bulkhead bracket should just go right on. Now this bulkhead bracket is just a locator, so it doesn't have any holes. You're not going to mount it to the transmission nose cone. It's just there to provide the correct front to rear clearance when you do install the transmission so you know where to stop. That mount is just put in there as a guide. Obviously you can tell there's nothing in here. Oh, one thing, if you'll notice on my kit, it has these little slots right here. These little slots go right on the wings of the frame horns of the pan so this can install really easily. Okay, with that installed, now we just have to get our two frame horn bolts, get those started. Sometimes the threads on these are a little boogered up, so you may want to just double check and make sure the threads are in good shape. So here's the two mid mounts that are the weld in mounts that go with the type one and the bus. And so you can see on the side, this is just a locator so that it doesn't want to fall out. And then the weld is going to be right along the side of the front and of the back. It's the same with the bus. So basically after this is all installed, you're going to weld up with a MIG welder, both sides, both seams. And there you go. 